Hello, my name is Eugene Kappen. You're watching Kappen Design TV. And today I'm going to be doing a tutorial about music visualizers for YouTube video. Anyway, if you've been on YouTube long enough, you've probably seen a couple of videos that basically run a music track and then have a visualizer, a music visualizer, showing you the different levels about the music. Now, if you've ever wondered whether or not those are actually connected or they aren't, they are. And in this tutorial, I'm going to show you step-by-step -step how to set it up and how to connect it with template art made in Photoshop. So let's just jump in. So recently it was hit up by my friend Ross as he's working on his very first album. Uh, Ross is a local Northwest rapper, very talented. He's like 18, he raps like he's 30. Um, I see just a huge future for this kid. Anyway, he was like, Eugene, I need help getting my music onto YouTube. How do I do that? I said, hey, you know, we'll, we'll set up a deal and I'll, I'll hook you up. So anyway, I made templates that are based in 4K because 4K video does get a little bit of boost inside of Google Analytics. Now, for a music player like this, it is a bit overkill considering you just want to stream music, but it's on YouTube and then you got a video component and it weighs down your phone if you're streaming on your phone. Um, it's best to use this on a desktop. So I have several different things built into this image. Um, I have all the details about the song. So I have Ross, uh, the song, of the, the name of the song that we're going to be working with today is called Unchained and it's from the Who Needs Proof um, album. Um, I went ahead and made album art for him as well, added um, a drop shadow and then this cool kind of grungy tech uh, background that just fits the album art very, very well. Now I'll hit save once I've completed everything. And then the next step is to go into After Effects. I'm just gonna save my file as music player. Uh, you name it whatever you want. I'm just gonna name it music player. And then what I want to do next is bring in my template as a composition. So I'm going to go to file, I'm going to go to import file, and I'm going to find my template. Uh, import as composition, maintain layers, imports, composition, retain layers, edible layers. Okay, sounds good. Now it's going to bring in everything as a template. Now, the template's only 40 seconds long, you know, whatever. Uh, so I'm gonna go to composition, composition settings. I'm gonna move it up to five minutes, just for now. I mean, this is just temper. And if you look at the width and height, it's already set up for 4K because that was the size of the template I made in Photoshop. So the next thing I want to do is I want to grab all the layers and I'm going to extend them to the max and then I'm going to import my music. Now file, import, file, awesome. So once you have your music, just bring it onto your composition let it go and at the very bottom in your timeline you'll see that the song is like a minute 40 and honestly it's it's whatever your, your music is so I'm going to go to the very end um, it's going to show me that in the corner on the composition it's only a minute and 40 seconds and 16 frames so what I'm going to go ahead and shrink the composition length to that size so back to composition, composition settings, and let's see, 1, 40, 16, oh cool, it's already pretty much set up. And okay, the next thing we need to do is to actually build the music visualizer and we're going to be using an effect called audio spectrum. Now to do that, you are going to need a solid, layer new, solid and this gray is just fine. 
I'm gonna call it Audio Spectrum. Cool. And I'm gonna bring it down right in front of our layer zero, which is actually our background for the composition. So with your audio spectrum layer selected, you're going to go to effect, generate, and then audio spectrum. And then all the details about your audio spectrum will show up in the effects control panel. Now to connect the layer with the actual music, you're going to go to audio layer, bring it down, and unchained. Now if we get really close, you can see it animating as we scrub through the timeline. Now, I think the height should be much higher. There we go. And I think it should be a little bit thicker. And I think there should be way more bands. Coolio. And I think it should just at the bottom so I'm going to bring the whole layer down and then I'm going to grab the start point and the end points and I'm going to bring them completely out to the edges now the pink really doesn't go uh, with the channel art so I'm going to turn it into a gray or something much darker at least I guess that gray is just fine. Now, as you scroll back through the timeline, you'll see the gray bars go up and down as it plays the music. And when we render it out, it will play the music. It will have the um, audio spectrum playing to create this music visualization for your YouTube video. Anyway, that's all for this video. My name is Eugene Cap, and this is Cap Design TV. If you learn something, hit the like button. If you have a comment or question or just feel like saying hi, either good or bad, go ahead and leave a comment down below. And if you'd like to continue this journey of self-exploration inside of After Effects or YouTube or video creation or motion design and graphics or VR, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and I'll see you in the next video. Take it easy. Way back, just a few days old.